So you wanted to learn how to tech, but you were too stupid to look up a video to show you how to tech. Well, here you go. Here's the guide. This is what it is. It's how you assemble a gearbox. This is a version 3. It's not much different from a version 2. Um, so you got your shell, right? You got to start with a side that has the, uh, the contacts right here. See, these have the contacts on them. I got it. Here, see the contacts? Camera. There's the camera. There's where it is. You see the contacts? There it goes, the contacts. Got the wires and shit. Um, these go to the motor. These, these go into the motor. This goes to the battery. Uh, whatever. Um, I'm not going to tell you how it works. Um, so basically, there's a certain way to get this thing in here properly. Shit. Yeah, this thing and get it like in there where it stays and shit. Um, let me show you. Uh, I had trouble with your boxes anyways. I don't really know how to make this easier. I saw them do it at Echo 1. Their guns are easier to tech, but it's just a regular little SEMA. So you see how, um, like notice how there's a, uh, there's a little slot right here. This part right here will stick out of it. Maybe not that part, the, um, this part right here will stick out. Basically, you get this right here. See the length of the here to here? That is what you stick here to there. So it's basically this little slot. It's, it's just a slot right there. And if I could fucking do it. you how it should be in. So you see how the wires, they're, they're like that and stuff, all the way back here. They have a slot too. So, see, goes right in. Bam. And then you just uh, have the wires in a way that it doesn't really fuck with you. Try, there you go, like that. That's what I did. The wires like this or something, however it works for you. It's not really gonna stay in place. My God, this this I can't get this thing on fucking camera when I'm not looking at my phone. I have to tech while looking at my phone. Are you serious? Whatever. Uh, make sure you got all your fucking gears. Got got all of them. And your um, your bearings and shit. I actually tried to glue mine in place and I knew that it sticks, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. These are your bearings right right here. This is the holes for the bearings. Um, yeah, that's why you need. It's not a reason why you need to glue them. Uh, the reason why you need to glue them is because uh, they rub against the shell and stuff. And basically, these things are steel. And when you have steel rubbing on pop metal, guess what wears down? The pop metal. Uh, I have a new duty magnet right here. It's like grabbing all this shit like a fucking black hole. Here's one here. See that? Actually, two new duty magnets. I was looking for this. For this. For these. Um, there should be another one over here. You can disregard it. Should be. Probably isn't. If I ever have two anti reverse flashes, I don't fucking care. So, when you stick these things in, you have to make sure the shims are on them properly. Like, you, like you have the lubricant under here, like just like on there, like in this little spot right here. And then you stick the shims on there, and it's really creamy and shit. And so you get the shims right on there, and they, they don't come off, right? All of them. You have to put lubricant in between the shims, and you just stick that right here. That's the first gear to go in. Here's the second. Right here, you have to make sure both sides. 
Both of the shim things are lubricated. It'll, it'll reduce the shit out of the wear in the gearbox. Um, and uh, this is the other one to go in, you know. This is actually the toughest one to get in, like, to keep the shims in right. But, um, here you go. Um, what I do, uh, I'm not going to whip out one of my anti-reversal lap springs now. I lost all of them because I'm a shitty, I, I, and I'm, I'm still a shitty tech. Um, but basically... Uh, you stick the neodymium magnet in here. You, you need two of them, two of these. Uh, I have the links on in a different video. Um, you stick them under this thing so it stays in place. You know, it'll be like up a little bit, it's just a little bit like that. And basically, since all these gears have metal in them, like, like steel and iron or something, uh, they'll all stick to the bearings. And if your bearings are glued in, th these fucking gears will not come out. They just won't ever. Um, basically, so you got this down, right, um, and there's a method to get this thing back like this, kind of how the spring in, um, you basically, uh, get like an object, like this, and then you push it back like that, you just, you just pull it back, and then while you're pulling it back, get your other hand, and you stick this thing in here, and it'll hurt your hand a little bit, because there's not a lot of room in there, so you'll be like, yeah, yeah, and then it'll get in. And then you let go, like, while you're holding it in place. And it, it'll, it'll probably, like, catch you on the finger or something. I don't know. Um, springs. These are actually very easy to get in. There are two methods that I currently know of on how to get them in. But um, before you, we get to that, we have to stick the uh, tappet plate and, um, and trigger contact thing in. See how this thing already has a spring in here? You have to get this spring. So if you have, see this spring anywhere, there's only one spring like this. All right, there's, there's three springs in this thing. And there's a big ass one like this. Here's a comparison. And then you have your uh, trigger spring. Like So if you have yourself an AK, they have they tend to have these weird fucking springs that are awful and I hate them. Because they're really, they're like, they're like 20 pounds of pull force or some shit. It's ridiculous. And they look like this. There you go. That one. This is the trigger. There's the tablet plate, and this is the uh, the contacts. But here's what you do with the contacts. You see how there's a little thing right there? There's just a little, a little what you call it. See that? That's where this little this little whole thing what you call it goes. And basically, what you do is you stick it. What you do is um, you stick it in the uh, thing. So. You see how this, this it's like this? This is the uh, the right side up, like this. It should go in like this, assuming your thing is in right. So what I do is just wiggle it in. There, there, there are like little grooves and shit in there. You see the grooves? You can't see the grooves, can you? I gotta get a flash on here. Is there a flash? There's no fucking flash on this thing. I love how there's flash when you take pictures, but then no flash when you don't. Um... All right, I think you can see the grooves. See that little thing right there? There's the little right angle right here like this. It goes down like that. Uh, yeah, you just have it resting on there. There's like some in there too. It's fucking focus. See it? See it right here? So they're inside. It's the only like defining features inside of it. So you have the spring facing up. It goes right in like that. There you go. And then you get this thing in. Just get it in. Uh, it's, give me a second. Fuck this shit, man. Fuck this shit. I gotta hold this camera in place while I do this. So you can actually see what I'm doing and I can't fucking do it. Um, okay, so I got it in place. And then you stick this thing right on the hole, and that's it right there. There's, there's no tension while, like, while it's on there. Because it would fuck up the spring. And I know it popped right up, but you just don't mind it. It's, it's not really that important. If, if, as long as you keep this thing in there, like everything in there, uh, it's good. And, um, and the trick to keeping the, uh, the spring in place is that, you see how there are these t there's like a lump on the side of it? Like it goes up like this. And that's where the spring goes, but there's a thing that comes out like this, like it's a cactus. You stick the uh, the loop part of the spring, this part right here, you stick that, and you like push it under it. Oh my god, this fucking focus. 
Shit, dude, look at this focus. This is awful. Come on, fucker. Whatever. Um, that. And there's like shadow and shit. And this camera can't fucking process it. It's like shadow is like, oh, look, there's nothing here. So this is all fucking black. That's what it looks like on the other camera. Um, the wire should be fucking up this thing. So there's, there's no feasible way you're gonna stick this thing in here. That you're gonna get it in there, whatever. Um, don't be too defeatist. It's not that hard. There you go, it's in. Pops right back up. Who cares? There's like a, a certain way you have to get the wires. You can see these wires like this. It's just a certain method. There you go. Yeah, it's still blurry. What the fuck? And zoom in so it's not blurry. It's just a low resolution. There you, go. you see how it's on the thing. There you go. Whatever. It's already on there. There you go. There's that part. Um, here's part two. Tap a plate. What you do is you get your nozzle, which is right here. That's your nozzle. And then you stick your tap a plate under there. And you see how it looks a bit weird? Like, it comes up, and then there's an even smaller part right here, like this. You see the little... Like, it's got a little thing bob inside of it in the design. I guess, like, like it's architectural or whatever. I don't have words. Um, yeah, that thing goes into this little groove thing in your, um, in your, in your, in your, uh, in your nozzle. You see how there's a little groove thing right there? Like that. So I can get it in, then I'll show you the example. And the top plate goes, like, you see how there's two things like that, and it comes along like a C? It goes in between that, like it closes it. Give me a second. There you go. Like that. Yeah, that's how it goes in. It took a while for me to figure it out. Um, and uh, this thing is upside down. You see how it's got the teeth right up here? Because this thing is actually a gear itself. Yeah. Um, this thing, make sure that this thing is really far back. Like, um, you got this thing down here and shit. Like it's down. But you have to get the teeth behind it like this or else it'll get like weird or something. And so this thing right here is far away from the tap of plate because this is what pulls the tap of plate back. The gear turns around and pulls this thing back like that. Makes makes contact. Now, what you're thinking is like, oh, the tap of plate is supposed to come back. For oh, yeah, and um, there's another thing. Uh, you're supposed to get these things lined up too. Like you see how there's a little, a little space that the cylinder should be in? Well, basically you push this thing forward as far as forward as possible. And you see how there are these holes? Well, um, check this out. You see the little thing right there? Holes going to that, obviously. You, you could you could have guessed. So it's, like it's it's molded for it. And you see how it, it comes from like the cylinder head to there, like on the shell. Like it, it goes in there like that. And what you do is you hold this thing down like that. Like you have to get this like these two things uh, right here like that, because that goes in there too. That's the slide thing. Um, so basically what you're gonna do with this spring is you get them you're gonna have to fuck with you're gonna have to fuck this, right? That's why it doesn't really matter. Um like this. Like that, there we go. Like that. And it's gonna take a bit of cum, just a bit of cum to pull it back. I recommend you get a tool, like uh, one of these things. And basically what you do is you get this part and you get it right up um, down there. It should be a flathead thing, so you can squeeze it in between the ring part and this part. I like this, let me show you. It doesn't really matter, you'll get it on eventually. Um, so then you get this thing back in, which, is, which should be pretty easy, you should figure out how to do it. Um, these are all, it all goes in parts, alright? And every single part of this is very easy, except the trigger. The trigger is the only part you're going to struggle with. There's going to be like two things you're going to hold down, and one of them is going to be the trigger. Assembly thing. Um, so you got your anterior bristle latch right in there. You got this, this, this. Now the only parts that are missing inside of the gearbox are the trigger and shit. So yeah, these are the this is the last thing you do because it's the toughest. That's the part you're gonna you know. Like I said, hold down. Um, 
I forgot what was I supposed to do. Oh yeah, stick the spring in. So this part right here, this is the spring guide, and this is the spring. Uh, see the side that's more compressed? Like it's a bit fucky right here. It so it looks always as good. Um, you get the side that's fucky, and you stick that over the thing. That's that's the direction it's in. That's how they work. So fucky side over that. And basically, this is an M120 spring, right? This is a pretty strong ass spring. This makes my gun shoot at 400 feet per second. Right, you stick that right in there, there's a massive hole, you're pretty dumb if you can't figure that out. Um, and I'm going to need two hands to do this, so there's a method, alright? There's a serious, stupid method, um, basically involves you hold this thing down, this thing will come right up, like it'll fucking bend and shit. Um, I need to, uh, I'll do it, I'll do it like this. Fuck my ass. Um, there we go. Oh my god. Shit together. You can. You, I'll let you guys see it. Definitely. The camera's all the way down there, though. So how about this? That's not. Gonna work. No, it's not working. I don't have a mount thing. I need to buy a mount because I'm. I'm ah, there we go. Is that it? Gearbox. Here we go. So. Making sure that the teeth are behind here, so it already fucked itself up. You have to make keep making sure. So this thing fucked itself up. This thing fucked it, it, the the teeth on the on the uh, sector gear fucked themselves up. Um, so for me, I'm very strong, so I do that like that. But if you're uh, uh, if you have polio, like most kids these days, if they don't work out their fingers and their arms, like you need to get your wrists on here. I can I can do like 30 pounds like this. Um, basically, you go like this, and you make like a mountain, like this, make a big old V like that, and that's how pathetic, weak, weak people do it. And then you have to get the thing in there, and then you push it down, and it gives you quite a bit of leverage. But once you get stronger, the other method is easier, just sticking it in like a man. And you have to um, line it up with a hole. Like, you see how they have these these things sticking out right here? Alright, this, th this little thing on the spring guide. Not spring guide. The, I think that is a spring guide, yeah. Uh, basically, there are little holes in the shell. I'll show you right here. Where the spring guide goes. Right there. That's where it goes. And basically, you, um, that's, where, that's where it goes. Like that. And then this thing will pop up and shit, like that. And basically, it'll fuck it up. Like, you see how the teeth are aligned weird? You just go, and you turn it. Like, you just get your nail in here, and then you just go, mm. I'm making like a puppet motion thing, like, like I'm, it, it's cartoony what I'm doing, but it, it explains how to, like, what you're supposed to do, but not exactly how to do it. So that's right there. That that part sucks. Now you got everything in your gearbox, everything in there except the trigger. There you go. It's easy as fuck. I don't know why people get intimidated by it. They get intimidated like when they're learning how to do it and shit. But the fact is, it's the easiest thing to do. It's just that like it's weird. Like these wires and shit. These wires piss me off. This is the part of the gearbox that pisses me off the most. It just doesn't stay in place ever. This is the part you're gonna have problems with. This right here. The uh, the, the contacts. Ah, fuck. Fuck my ass. Here we go. It's in. I got it. Um. Now here's what you have to do. This is the this is a tricky part as well. Um. So. Uh, words, sentences. Oh. oh shit, I had a spare one. You had a spare. Um, here's this. Um, yeah, the, it's remember it's a, a like remember uh, the word shark, and then think of how their fins go, which is actually like this. But for me, I remember it's like backwards or something. It's weird. Um, like like think of like, like the um. The triangle part thing, the the flat side goes over here, and the side that's curved goes over here. So, I, I don't know, like, you think of, like, an analogy to remember that, or something. Basically, um, it's like this. It will, it's not gonna stay in there. This is this very loose fitting thing, but that's how it goes together. See, see that picture right there? That's how it goes together. Figure out how to put it together. It's not hard. But you see how... 
like that. Yeah. The only reason I'm doing this is that I'm like fantasizing about playing an airsoft field. Um, so I see this right here. Here's the magic trick that nobody ever fucking taught you. Um, basically, when it comes, the short side will be up. Uh, the short side will be down, like in the like holding it into the gearbox, because there's a little hole right here. There's a tiny little hole right here. I will show you a picture of it. Um, basically, yeah, uh, the upside will go up, and that's what, that would be the part that would be tensioning the thing. And this would be the part that the, the shorter part would be the one that holds it in place. Switch them around. Now you have an easier place to keep it in place. Because the problems with this thing, the whole problem with it is that this thing doesn't stay in place. And there you go, now it's staying in place. Um, and here, let me show you the method. Mine. Come here. Come here. I need, this is a three hand job. Get her, come here, gotta record this. We're gonna take two because, um, no, this is, in the middle of just, cooking. Just, come on. You're, you're holding it upside down. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? The camera's right here, Mike. Thanks for stepping on my gearbox. Thanks, Mom. Point at this. At this. What am I, where are my hands? There we go. Hold it in place. So, you also have to make sure this is a good, sh this is the shelf for your thing. So, if you have like a SEMA, CMO4, something with like a VFC style thing, takedown where like you like take the barrel apart and shit um it'll have a o2 seashell so that's just like that's just to distinguish it from um everything else see it, it glues it, there's shit right here um basically um here's what you have to do you stick it in the hole first and you get the, the long part obviously the long part and it goes right in to the hole You'll figure it out. You'll figure out where the hole's at. I don't think I need to stick a, a picture in here. Um, it's it's very obvious. There's just a hole there. And while it's in there, that's what it should look like. Like the little short side should be right here, like that, down here. And then you stick it in between these two. Like you see there's a little, little thing, a little crack in between them. Like from a little space. You stick them right in between there. Like that. And then you wiggle it into the hole. And then you make sure that this part right here, this little shock part, is um, behind the contact. That, like, you see, that there's a contact right here, and there's a little thing right in, inside of it that you stick in. Remember, it's like it's got, it's got a spring here and shit. Um, and basically, like that. It's not really that important, but that's like the way it should go in. And for some reason, it makes it easier to stick it in. Um, make sure that thing's still in there. Um, and basically what you do is you hold this part down while you're holding the shell down like this no, no, the, uh, the, uh, the cylinder while you're holding the cylinder down and basically um, you stick the shell right on like this and remember to have some screws on hand what I did is I got a piece of paper I drew a gearbox on it and I poked holes in it and then I stuck the screws in the holes that's like where they would go so here's what I would do it is, requires quite a quite a lot of manpower, but I'm here's what you, I, I just need two screws for this for this demonstration. I get the front screw for right here and the screw for right here. This is this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, I recommend you stick it right in the hole or something. I don't, I don't know. Whatever your method is, whatever your dumb method is. Um, I'm, I'm actually holding both of them down with my my one hand. For sign did that, and so you hold. You have to hold both of them down. All right. You have to man it, the man way. And basically, um, once you stick it on here like this, you have to pull it back so it gets behind the spring guide, like this, and it'll like click into place a little bit. There you go, here's the, here's the click right there. And basically hold it down with your man force, because you're not a man if you can't do that. Um, you get your drill. Make sure it's screwy. While you're holding it down, screw it here. And while that, when that one's screwed in, remember you still have to hold it down, and then you wiggle this thing into place. Here, I'll show you. I'll, I'll just take this thing apart after I'm done. Right. 
See it? See that right there? Lined right up. That's so it should work. Once you get the method down, everything will like fall into place for you. I'm going to be really gentle with this one. You do not want to strip it. It's not fun to strip. Ah, you see that? Pop. And then you get this one, which I got the wrong screw. Um, here we go. Here's the screw. You see how it's the length of the gearbox? Stick it right in there. Screw it in, and then you screw the rest of the screws in. These are the most important ones. You get the front and the back. And there you go. This is your gearbox shell. See, it's clicking right into place. And just test this. That's perfect. There you go. That's perfect. Um, you can get this one, this, this, and you get the motor in. Uh, and then um, basically, here's the trick for, um, for for the motor. Like, because you're supposed to disconnect these. It, it makes it easier, in my opinion, because like you don't have all your shit sticking to it because it's magnetic. Um, I like to remember. I like to remember in the way that uh, the people who made this shit were liberals, which, which they weren't. It was Tokyo Marui, and basically they want the blacks in the front. They want the blacks in the front of the bust and the red people in the back, right? The blacks in the front, reverse reverse osmosis. So this it goes like this in the motor. Like you see, you have the motor right here. It's like this. Black is the red. They don't like Indians. And that's it right there. But check that out. Look at that. It's in there perfectly. I just don't want to put this thing back together. I'm, I'm bored. Okay. Um, and remember, you have to get these things lined up. I'm missing the uh, the bushing, and it's messed up. Don't ever do that. This is just for demonstration. Go. Um, yeah. Oh. Hey, that's your gearbox right there.